Hey, this will be a video chart on LBSR. Uh, to be honest, I can't remember if I've ever done this one or not. Uh, but regardless, been getting a few requests on it, asking kind of what's uh, status with the chart. And uh, so far, so good from uh, you know daily chart perspective, uh, longer term view. Uh, obviously, if you bought uh, you know up here, you're probably still feeling the pain. But you know things are getting a little bit better for you. Uh, but as far as the daily chart is concerned, uh, you know the chart's definitely hanging in there. Uh, thus far, has gone through a very a healthy consolidation and has shown some uh, true strength and as long as that continues then you know the the chart's going to have a lot of upside potential from uh, you know a technical perspective so let's just break down what happened with the chart obviously we had um, volume come in big here the price reaction uh, then momentum picked up and it you know just skyrocketed here had it run all the way up here and then this is when the first day of consolidation hit and um, then going through it Actually, I think I did do it because I, I believe I did the chart on this day here. Uh, don't quote me on that, but uh, maybe I did. Uh, but the point being that through this pullback, it's not like it pulled one of the numbers that you see a lot in Penny Land where it makes this move. And then after this day, you know, it just goes right back down to where it started. You know, it came down, found some support uh, right in this area here, and has then since been put in higher lows. So from that perspective things are looking good and actually what we have here is a uh, kind of a bull pennant bull flag whatever you want to call it uh, pattern shaping up where if I take this and uh, let me make this thicker so you can see it but if I take this and draw this that would be the flag pull of it and then depending on how you want to draw it, what you want to use as supports uh, you know we have essentially something uh, you know like this taking shape here uh, where you know, if you're a golfer, you know that should you should recognize this right here, the the pennant shape, um, and that's why it would be called a bull pennant. And as long as these support levels hold, and I should probably specify what I mean by that. So uh, let me clear this out here. But the level that seems to be pretty important as far as this uh, pattern is concerned is going to be right here. Uh, let's try that again. And this level is valued at. Uh, 0.0188 so for argument's sake maybe we can just say 0.019 and as you can see uh, the price has almost hit it there this day dropped below it but was able to close up above it uh, this day bounced exactly off of it so this 0.019 is going to be the key area of support from this pattern perspective now keep in mind the price could break below there and the chart would still be bullish assuming that these moving averages can hold because we still are quite a bit of ways above our moving averages letting them catch up uh, but uh, as long as at least the moving averages hold then the chart remain bullish but as far as this pattern goes and if you want this to remain in effect you know you're gonna want the 0.019 level to hold as far as resistances you know not too complicated uh, right around this three cent range seems to be the key area uh, the price has been above it a few times uh, but hasn't ever been able to close above it. So this will be the key area uh, to watch for in terms of a, a legitimate breakout. Uh, but if the price can get up, break through there on a nice increase in volume, then that would uh, be a nice sign. And on the volume note, that's it. That's the other uh, nice thing the chart has going for it is during the sideways um, action here, you can see that the volume has been decreasing. And that's what you want to see during consolidation patterns. You never want to see volume increasing or worse yet if the price pulls back see volume you know really big uh, you want to see it dry up because that just shows that you know there's less and less sellers there's not as many people hitting the bid and you know it's just uh, a representation of them putting in a higher base and building a higher base and that's exactly what's been going on so you've had some nice uh, decrease in volume during the sideways consolidation action so as long as volume stays uh, you know weak like this on sideways days or down days then you know from the volume analysis standpoint things are holding in there too. Overall though in a nutshell uh, if you're playing this from a daily chart you know the charts hanging in there uh, it's been pretty rocky uh, in terms of swings but you know what penny stock isn't so uh, you know as long as your support levels hold then you know you got a chance to make higher highs and hopefully get a breakout but obviously you're gonna have to keep volume either the company's gonna have to put out a nice press release or something's gonna have to get going uh, that brings the bulls back in so you can get some nice increasing volume candles like this and see the price head up but uh, overall hanging in there so we'll have to see what happens uh, tomorrow and then next week
there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on a penny stock. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. Uh, it's all free, so it's worth at least uh, signing up and giving it a try and seeing what it's all about. One more time, this was LBSR. Thanks for listening.